Hey guys, it's Super Mexican Meal. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. All right, guys. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a tattoo tour. Tattoo tour. Like, um, I'm going to be showing you guys all my tattoos and then kind of explaining like what the meaning behind them and like why I got them and also it's just like showing off my tattoos. So do it. All right. So let's get started. So the first tattoo that I've ever gotten, I was. I think I was 19 at the time, and it's little sombrero. I got it for the Friday 13th. It was like the a flash event, like you know. And I posted the video actually on on YouTube, so you guys check that out somewhere here. You click that, like you know, the video there. It was in Hollywood. I forgot what the tattoo shop was called, but we went there. And my brother and I got our first tattoos there. Uh, yeah, he was like 24, 23 at the time, I think. But like yeah, he got like a little flower and style and then I got the sombrero with 13 on it. I chose the sombrero because I was like Mexican, you know, it's dope and then the 13 is like it's cause it was either way it's gonna it was gonna be 13, you know, had had to be incorporated because of the Friday 13. If not, if I wasn't gonna get that, I was going to get a, a spider one with the 13 in it. But yeah. I think that my tattoo artist with her name, her her Instagram at was Silver and Salt. I think something like that. But yeah, she, it was it was it like tickled me a little bit and it felt like um you know when you shave, it literally felt like that, but it was like, <sighs> like more like a cheese grater. That <laughs> it felt like that you're like like you know or like a potato, like if your skin was going against one of those. Yeah, that's how it felt like, you know. And but it was it tickled though. I don't know if it was a placement or just because I was like I thought it was gonna be excruciatingly painful. So, but it's like it wasn't that painful at all, honestly. It was mostly ticklish feeling. That was my first tattoo, and I, I didn't get a tattoo after that um, until my sister like started tattooing when she was like 16. And then I think, oh yeah, I actually designed like like the design that I really wanted. Um, so she tattooed that on, on me. I have a TikTok, I think, somewhere, and I also have a YouTube video if you guys wanna check that out. Also, I, I drew a kunai knife with the Kotsky cloud symbols in the back, and it was like, it's a really, really nice design. I chose to design that one because I was like, I really want something like Naruto, like, you know, like that type of vibe, but also like, I was like really, well, like I think I was still watching Naruto with Shippuden at the time, so I wanted more like of like Itachi or like the Katsuki Incorporated, and I was like, okay, I really want, I want that because like you know, and I, I'm going to explain all my Naruto tattoos too, but I have a lot, so I love Naruto it means so much to me. So yeah, I had like next a Snorlax on my left uh, forearm. I actually have a a wood burn video. I think I think I made a YouTube video of it too. If you guys want to check that out as well. Um, it's not. I didn't get that exact Snorlax tattooed, but I got one that's basically like that same design, and it's nice. Uh, my sister did mess up on this one though, so it, I think it was because I was recording her. She got like a little like she was like ah, and then I was just like you messed up. But it wasn't that big of a deal because I didn't really like mind, you know. As long as if it's I keep on like just imagining her mess up and me like shh, like you know, or me moving and I'm just like oh god, this is gonna like mess up my whole like my whole body, you know. But yeah. It's nice. It's like it's one of my um, not like favorite favorite ones, but it's like top. And then next, this is this is one of my favorite favorite tattoos. I have the the Naruto. It's Naruto tattoo right here. Jinwei tattoos. Uh, Jinwei, I think that's how you pronounce her name. She's on Instagram. She does all this like cool anime merch. Jinwei is also tattooing as well, and she has uh, gotten a tattoo that's like this. She has it somewhere on her arm, like lower, I think. All right, when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, I really want that tattoo. It's like one of my favorites, honestly. It's like really dope. If you see like like the shading and everything, it's it's cool. I've gotten like a lot of compliments on this too. Obviously, the reason why I got Naruto is because I love Naruto, and I just like it's like so dope, you know. So yeah, I have one in the back. It is a Ladios and Ladios kind of like tribal tattoo. It was either gonna be this design or this other one, and I just decided to go like this because I've always wanted like a tribal type of like you know like design. I think it did hurt, but it was it was like a the position I had to be in. That's why it hurt more than the actual tattoo itself. And then you know, Ladios and Ladios, they mean so much to me. Just like cause like they're from Hoenn, you know, and like Hoenn's my my home, like you know, like my hometown, my home region, Pokemon Ruby, you know. So I had to get something from that game. So I got um this George, you know, my monkey George. I, I think I've talked about him over, over like the years on this channel. Uh, I got him in the back of my neck. Kind of like on the side it's of a it's basically a drawing that i did when i was like five or six i think and i, I really wanted him tattooed and my sister also has like this drawing that i did of her like it's like a stuffed animal that we have you know it's like a stuffed monkey and she has it on her on her leg and i decided to get it on my on my neck so it's like really nice you know so this George, you know, he means like so much to me, so that's why I got him too. And I, th I think that one didn't really hurt, I think, but it's just like I felt like 
the buzzing a lot of like the machine and it's just i was just like ah oh, like you know i think it was also the position of again of like i had to be in a certain position and the position hurt more than that's the tattoo because i had to be there for like a while you know so then next love tattooed on my left hand that area and um this is also something that I always wanted to get tattooed like ever since I have like pictures when I was like 12 like or 13 years old I used to like draw on myself like a lot so then I have like all these pictures you see here that I really wanted this like love tattoo that was like a for sure like thing I was like in the future I have to get it like you know so I got it and it's like you know love I have to get like that word tattooed on me because it's like lit you know and I got it and I actually tried I think I actually did post a video of this too where I tried to tattoo myself you guys can check that video out here as well and it didn't really work out it was it was horrible i didn't i don't want to hurt myself at all you know so but then my sister helped like finish it you know so that was like a memorable tattoo that i've always wanted to get so that's you know that was it and i think that, that one did actually hurt like like it hurt it kind of hurt like uh, that's why i really want i really want to get a lot of tattoos in my hands but i'm probably going to wait a little bit until i do but yeah i really want to get my hand filled up like those pictures i showed you guys i got four tattoos over the course of two days i think i believe so i got this uh obito uchiha tattoo it hurt it hurt like a bitch i remember hurting but i remember I, like really wanted to sting still because oh i really wanted to get him tattooed because oh i love obito uchiha man like shit. and then opposite to that i have kakashi and you know like the story if you guys watch naruto you know the storyline of like how like kakashi and obito you know the best friends and like you know and all that happened ah. kakashi got colored and like he was nice and he also like hurt like a lot actually like yeah i got a minato tattooed that one hurt like i remember that pain so like profoundly oh that that, that was one of like the most hurting tattoos of the time you know of that time i was like oh god i do not want to get like because I, I i needed to go back in with white i'm still going to probably like you know like to get it like touched up but as of now i'm still kind of contemplating it because like you know it hurt like a lot but it was it was fun you know me to tell naruto's dad and then it's cool because he's like opposite of him as well so you know i had to like you know you know it's it's dope so you know they it just means like a lot to me but yeah oh yeah, minato actually wasn't a part of those four tattoos in two days he was actually a separate thing but i literally just remembered him because i'm just looking at you know my tattoos oh a part of the the four tattoos i got a kirby on my lower stomach area on the left side of my lower stomach area um that one that one kind of hurt it hurt like a lot like it hurt like um like piquitos like like needles like kind of like uh, it was just like uh and I, I felt like i had to like I couldn't breathe at all because I, I breathe at all because I didn't want to move my stomach, you know, because like my stomach was being tattooed. So that was just so. I think my sister has a video on her on her tattoo page. You can follow her at Cheer Up Tat Tattoos. And I think she messed up on that tattoo too. It was like the eyes are so. Oh, but like you know, like no one's gonna see it right now. And then I'll probably get it like touched up in the future, you know. But yeah. Um. And then before I actually like had like a lot of like weight around there or like i couldn't honestly see the tattoo but like when i just looked down now i kind of can you know it's gotten gotten better like you know um but yeah like back then i was just like oh no like but i really want to get that tattoo because it's it's cute you know and it doesn't really have like a, a significant meaning it's just i just thought it was cute you know but oh yeah i also have a part of those four tattoos i got in those two days i have a an itachi like cat tattoo it was just him with like little cat ears and it's on my left thigh area like kind of like not right above the knee but like a little bit like mid thigh maybe and then that that one i think it hurt <laughs> i honestly forgot about that one but, the, but that was it was he's cute you know I, I love itachi so yeah i had to get him like that tattoo it's probably gonna be out of order from now on because like i think that's just what i remember chronologically after that i'm just kind of like oh, i don't know what i got so let's just go down the arm um this is tanjiro i got tanjiro tattooed on my forearm this is this is one of like my biggest tattoos it kind of almost wraps around my whole arm it took like i think about a, over the span of like maybe two months i think to get it like like completely done uh, i think we're, we're still gonna touch it up you know but like it's my it's this one will hurt like the most this is one of my most painful tattoos ever but it's really dope though I, I really like how it came out and i really wanted to incorporate tanjiro because like over like i think that time i, I watched demon slayer and oh demon slayer was dope as fuck and like i just really kind of like related a lot to the um the characters of tanjiro and inosuke so 
they're really like dope and i just finished watching demon slayer like season two so ooh, i really want to get another one like ooh. but this tattoo was so painful it was like one of the most excruciating pains like i've ever felt in my life like it almost felt like like um like that feeling when you get when like a, a like a person breaks up with you or you break up with a person like you have oh you know it's like something like emotionally like that it hurts so much but like obviously i had to like kind of like bear through the pain because like i want to get the tattoo done behind the tendril on the back of my the, the forearm i have a um sakura tattoo from naruto as well i do want to get her colored eventually you know i'm still thinking about it because i want to like you know maybe add some um cherry blossoms you know like around her like like petals or something i think that'd be cute i have a froggy the froggy wallet from naruto it's naruto's froggy wallet and that one that one's that one's really fun i love seeing like the like when it, it was when i was getting it tattooed you just see like all the green ink and it, it was so cool i think i have a, a tiktok posted of it you can follow me at super mexican mia check that tiktok out i usually post all like the like a lot of like the, the tattoos that I get on TikTok, so check that out if you're interested. I just really want to get a froggy wallet tattooed, especially because I drew this one too. I think I, I think I painted it or I drew it. And then I have Naruto the face. I actually got this Naruto face tattooed along with like this one I have back here. I'll talk to you about the one back here in a little bit. This one's the, one of my favorite like tattoos as well. It's also like top top there. It's like it's just his face when he was like a, a like a young little boy and oh. Uh, it's just like so cute and then below them i have torchic it's just like a little small torchic you know it's just a little torchic because like she's one of my favorite pokemon because like my favorite favorite pokemon is blaziken but i really you know torchic's so cute and you know yeah this represents like the pokemon stuff that i love as well to go with the head i actually got like these two back here on the back of my arm it's just like Naruto and Sasuke. I think they're they're like back against each other and they're kind of like looking at each other, like you know, like uh. And it's, this is one of my favorite like top there too. I just hate it because I can't really see it. It like you know as much as I could see um like the Tanjiro one or like the Snorlax one or like the ones like kind of just look down and be like oh yeah you know. And then oh yeah I have. I think I have I have three Inosuke tattoos. I have the one in the back of my arm. It's like kind of like a Lilo and Stitch X Demon Slayer when it was like the good and bad. You know that drawing? Yeah. So like it's cool because like you know yeah. And if you're something like you know hopefully like when I have children or like you know if I have children I'm just hoping they could like color it in. I'll be like so cute. You know? I'll be like, ah. So yeah, I got that one. It's like it's a really cute one. Oh, I'm not even on my legs. I think I have a lot of tattoos. <laughs> It's him, he's just like, ah, like this like really kind of cute like chibi style type of thing. And this other one on my left thigh, he's just like lying down in his like little boar head. It's really cute. And then, you know, I got it because I, I love him so much. He's just like such like a cool, funny, like relatable character. And then, and yeah, I have a, you can't, I don't, I doubt you could see it now because my hair has grown quite a bit. It's, I have a, a dragon inspired like his tattoo on his head i have a tattoo on my head as well i didn't post a youtube video on, on that but i posted a tiktok if you're interested in watching that as well it's just like a short six second one but yeah that was it that was um whoo, that was intense it wasn't actually wasn't as painful as the tandro one which is crazy i thought i really thought i was like oh no what are you gonna get into you know like oh like it's just gonna hurt like so much but it, it wasn't it just felt like really like fresh like there were certain parts where I couldn't even feel I was getting tattooed. And then there were certain parts like kind of like around my ear, like near like the bone area. Oh, that 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 did hurt like like quite kind of a lot. But there was more the buzzing also that was just like like uh like like irritating my brain. And I got it because I love Tokyo Revengers. It's I think my second tattoo of Tokyo Revengers, and I, I want to get like a lot more. But yeah, I just really want to like get something. Also, it's cool because you know whenever I shave my head, you can see it, and then I don't really run out of space on my other other part of my body because. I need space, you know? Oh yeah! <laughs> I have a Cactus Jack tattoo because, you know, I, I do love Travis Scott, honestly. And like, you know, like, it's just his, his music was so, it was just like a, a certain time in my life where like, I, I think I, I met someone, I think I talked about this. It was like, um, I forgot, I, I'll, I'll link the video up there though. If you guys want to watch me cry, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It was just like a, a, a really sad emotional part of my life uh, about someone, but they got me into Travis Scott. And then like ever since then, I was like, oh my God, like this, his music is like, it's really nice. It's so good. It's just like, and then all like the, the Cactus Jack, like Don Tolliver, you know, like, oh, the like, you know, Cactus Jack voice, like, ooh, ooh, ooh. It's just like that whole, like the, all of their music is so, it's, it's, 
so like chase v oh it's just it's like they're really nice and like it's so dope so i, I really want to get something to represent i think that part of my life you know and uh yeah it's just dope i love cactus jack you know i love travis scott and yeah it's lit, it's lit. i also have a rip and dip tattoo it got a tattooed in san francisco to celebrate my dad and i and me like our birthday like over there like she got she brought her stuff for tattooing and like she was gonna tattoo everyone like her whole family but like uh, they didn't get it but i was the only one that got tattooed it's one of my favorite rip, rip and dip designs he's just eating a burger like it's so cute so yeah and then beneath that i have my uh my first tokyo avengers tattoo it's like this kind of like big i actually didn't realize how big it was until like I was like showering the other day and I was like, oh fuck, it's actually like pretty big. It's Draken, Takamichi, Chifuyu, and Mikey. They're just all like lounging in like a room. They're just playing video games. If I asked her if she could like change like the video game stuff, like all the books that were there, like the water bottles, like the chips. So if she can incorporate it like to my favorite books or like the chips I liked or like, you know, like this stuff, stuff like that. And it's like really cool. I'll show you like the, the before and like the after image right here of like what she what she changed and what like you know like what i wanted and stuff from the original so that was pretty cool and, uh, i think that that one hurt like a lot towards the end because you know usually because like the pain like at first it's like oh i can handle this you know but then towards the end of like the tattoo when you're like nearing towards the end you're like oh fuck like fuck, this shit hurts like it's starting to hurt like a lot also because like you just want it to be done you know i remember mikey hurt like the most like around there like that area like kind of like behind like the, the the back of the side that shit hurt like a lot oh yeah I have a weed tattoo and I got that for 420 last year or for 2020. I forgot honestly. For 2020, I think <laughs> I actually forgot when I got a tattoo, but that was that, that was fun getting a tattooed and uh, I made a whole like video I think on it too. Yeah, I, I have posted on YouTube. I think you guys could like see this or I'll probably link all the videos I mentioned down below. Contando marijuana video, I posted that when I was like 15 maybe 16 i forgot it was like this like stupid ass funny video that i made with my sister and then we were just it was just for 420 as well celebrating you know i painted a marijuana leaf on my wall because i was looking up this tutorial on how to draw a marijuana leaf and then I, I ended up painting it on my wall and it was so dope so i had to get like that exact same you know image tattooed so and i i was like told myself i was like back then i was like you gotta get this tattooed like somehow you know and then also i think for my birthday when i turned 21 i got borto sarada and mitsuki tattooed it's just basically the tattooed of my paintings that i dropped i think i'll i'll, I'll put that somewhere here and also in the description i, I i'm painting i painted like the, this um made a collection of them based on the outro of one of the Boruto endings. I'm still selling them, some are still available. One of each like sets got sold out. So that was kind of dope. It was like the first time I actually sold like a painting of mine, like like that I posted online and I was like, oh, like, you know, it was it was really cool. But yeah, I got those tattoos because it, it signified a lot at that time. I was like, you know, starting to sell my art and then it, it was just dope and I love Boruto now, you know, because ugh. It's so good too. So I got them scattered all over my right leg. I have Borto like kind of like across the marijuana leaf guy. And I got um Sarada. It's like kind of below the knee, also on the like the right leg. Mitsuki is all the way down to my ankle. I think the out of all of them, I think the Borto one hurt the most. And then the one that was came out really, really nicely was the Mitsuki one. And I think that was my favorite one. I have another Kakashi. <laughs> it's just him and like this like nice like black and white design. It's just like I think he hurt kind of low key. Lot. it was just they, they start hurting more when they kind of hits more of my bony area rather than like the like the meaty area you know he went lost me like at that time because i think it was like the time where i was like learning a lot about him like his backstory and like you know what he went through oh yeah i forgot to mention like that she also tattooed on me like a boo after she did the kunai knife and that one oh my god she like busted that like she 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 like made a line she made it she made it like really uneven and i was like oh my god like what are you, what are you gonna do like you fix it and she was like oh yeah and she went over it again and just made line thicker and i was just like yeah whatever like, it's kind of like when you make your eyeliner like uneven and you're like oh i only can make this one a little thicker and you're like okay it's like uh but it, it was you know it came out pretty nice and then above that i have a game guard tattoo i kind of wanted to go with that like ghost type of vibe like pokemon or like you know mario like it's just it's cool the, this gengar i actually painted on my door that tattoo is based on like that design that i i made i painted um i gotta get it still touched up uh, the teeth mostly than anything but i also want to get the purple tattooed as well okay this was one of the most painful tattoos ever before the tangerine one so at this point this was the most painful tattoos ever 
like painful. I was comfortable, like, cause she has her. At this point, she had her bed now. Before it, she, she tattooed me on the chair. And it wasn't unsanitary. It was just like the position part, you know. But now she, cause like over the time, she like got a lot more stuff, and she has a bed now, a pink like nice tattoo bed. So I was like, you know, comfortable, but like, the only thing is this, this tattoo hurts so much. And I was just like, oh, like constantly like, I almost done, I almost done, I almost done. And she was just like, no way, cause she's my sister, you know? So she's like, wait, like, <laughs> she, she would like tell me shit. And I'd be like, okay. Like I had to like, basically like, eh. Basically like this part of the story of them where um, Sasuke and, and Sakura, they like, they leave. Cause like uh, Sasuke is going on like, on. he usually goes, like he leaves the vi village. And, um, you know, she's like, oh, can I go this time with you? And he's like, yeah, like, you know, and it's just them. And, like, they kiss. It's so cute. And I think that's when they actually, like, conceive. I think that's the word. Sarada. So, you know, it's just, like, really nice. And I was like, oh, my God. This is when they're, like, like kind of, like, my age. I, I just hate that I can't see it. Like, I could only, like, I could basically, like, when I whenever I look at it, I can only see one or, like, I can see Sakura or Sasuke. So I'm just like, ugh. It's, like, kind of, like, the other tattoo I have in the back of my arm. Yeah. But that's too hard. And it just means so much because like you know i just love them i just love them i love sakura, sakura like i just like i really i see myself as sakura like and naruto you know and like you know sasuke he has like his like ugh moments but like he's so cool and it's just like that's like i also strive to be him like you know some of his character traits and it's just like uh it's dope so yeah also one of my favorite tattoos in, in terms of like um emotional meaning behind it so that's dope i have a a uh, hawk and mild yeah mild tattoo but like a uh, wild tattoo his hawk's name before was a mild but like you know it was when they were separate and then anyway that was from seven deadly sins and seven deadly sins oh that's another anime ah! it's so so it's 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 pretty good it's not like as amazing like as i'd say like naruto is but seven it's like it's really good it's i, I love it you know and like this was so cute the storyline for like the like brother siblings type of thing it's just adorable and it's not done yet because i'm i'm still also considering like at first i wasn't gonna get it colored but then this it started hurting like kind of a lot because i think i got this tattooed when i kind of took a while like a break to not get tattoos it's not on purpose i just didn't really want a tattoo at the time so i'm considering uh, either getting it like uh like black and white sh like shading type of thing like gray you know or i'm actually gonna get him colored like their colors purple and pink so yeah I i'm not 100 percent sure but I, I like the way it is for now you know i just know it's not complete it's incomplete so it's kind of bothering me a little so when i kind of like have what i decided what i'm gonna get i'm going to you know yeah get it finished the this is my latest tattoo it is a butterfree tattoo. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Like, I wanted a little higher, but then I was like, it'd be kind of cute, cute and cool if like you, if you, it was, it was if if we were kind of like looking as if he was kind of holding her, you know, the the butterfree. And then my sister was like, oh, like like if you want, we could flip it. But then I had this like stupid like thing, and I was like, why does it look like this? But in the mirror, it's like this. And she was like, because it's a reflection. And I was just like, Ugh. I was just acting so dumb. I actually, I think it was just like I was really tired, but you know, <laughs> I wanted to get the tattoo. And it's actually, um, I I drew this on the canvas I'm painting currently. Uh, I think I could show you this. I think. I think I could show you this. See what my manager says. Sorry, manager. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it's just a butterfly that I drew, and I just really liked how it came out because like I'm getting better at like my art and drawing. So this one, it represents my my brother, you know. So I think it's dope because it's from the Kanto region. Like you know, he was actually born in 1996 when Pokemon was like you know first launched. So I think that's dope. And on the other side, oh, it didn't really hurt that much actually either. I think I don't remember it hurting that much. But afterwards. Oh, usually when when a tattoo for me when it doesn't when it hurts <clears throat> like actually the healing part the it doesn't take that long, but when it doesn't hurt while I'm getting the tattoo the healing part takes like it hurts like oh. and I think that time too it got a booster shot on the other arm so I was just like ow ow like double pain <laughs> I hate when that happens like oh but on the other side I'm planning on getting this um kind of like traditional um, uh, I think is it called American traditional. I forgot, but like it's you know those hearts are like the same mom or like you know like yeah, I want to get something like that here and it's gonna say Miles or Kyle. I forgot because like we have my sister have like this like joke. Basically, we're like two long lost brothers and then when we see each other, we're like Miles, Kyle, and then we like fight. You know, it's just it happened when like we saw Shang Chi because we like the way that they fight. It's like so cool. But yeah, I have a TikTok of it. You guys will check that out. Just scroll down because I'm not gonna show you guys <laughs> right here. But yeah, 
Anyway, um, so I'm going to get that hopefully in the future. That's gonna be like, you know, cross so I have my siblings here. I think in maybe elementary, because I, I really like Never Show Never, you know, Christopher Drew Ingle, and he has all these cool ass dope tattoos. And like, I think he also has like his, I, I got it from him, like the inspiration for, for like my, this future tattoo I wanna get. It's a sun and a moon on like the left and the right like my feet like right on top of it so I, I'm I know it's gonna hurt like a lot but like you know I want that to represent my mom and dad I also kind of keep that like they keep me grounded type thing or like you get me like yeah so I really want to get that I'm, I still have like ideas for like the, the design but I really want to go with like maybe like a like a sun and moon that have a face I think you know I'm thinking that so I think that would look really cool and also in the future I really want to get a tattoo from I think this I think she's she's based in in South Korea or Seoul, I forgot. But um, there's this artist that she does like these really cute like pet portraits. They're like really small and miniature. And I really want to get like Juanita tattooed on my on my left forearm, somewhere around there. Like you know, I think that'd be really cool. Like because I could see her all the time. And then, oh, and Toby's getting jealous. Look, he's like he like came up to me. He's like, mm, like what about me? Toby. What about me, mom? When you're gonna gonna get a tattoo on me? Oh my gosh, you're so mean, Toby. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I really want. I do want to get a tattoo of, uh, like, you know, to represent Toby as well. I'm just not 100 percent sure, like, what to get yet. But yeah, but you know, it's fine because I'm here right now. Okay, Toby. But yeah, I really want to get, um, like, you know, my dog tattooed. Like, you know, if you don't know Bonita, I think you guys should know Bonita. Or if you need, welcome to my channel. But like, you know, I really want to get her tattooed here. So, but now I am thinking of getting maybe Toby tattooed or something. No, no, I'm kidding. But like, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure of like Toby, like what I want for him yet. I know I want something, you know, for like, obviously I'm gonna get Toby, something Toby tattooed, you know? But yeah, um, I really want to get her tattooed. And I'm thinking of getting her like, Cause she loves this one toy. It's like a little boo, like bone toy. Got it for like a Halloween like thing. And it's like she, that's her favorite. It's like all worn out. But I try to like kind of hide it from them, so they don't destroy it. Cause I want to keep it forever. So I want to get that tattoo as well. Obito, Toby, you know, uh, from the Kosuke from Naruto. I want to get him tattooed on the back of my my calf, basically, on the left side. Kind of like to like go go parallel with the uh, Sasuke and and the Sakura. I really want him. And his like three masks like you know kind of destroyed but you can still he see his face i want it really colored but i want that like different contrast from when it's dark i want it like all deep shading and so the colors could be you know more prominent so i know that she's gonna hurt like a bitch so i'm trying to mentally prepare for that so i'm probably gonna get that when i'm like hopefully 25 or 26 when i am 21 but yeah that's also like i just have this really clear image of what i want you know and i'm just like i really want that but like gonna hurt so I have to be prepared you know I can't just be like oh I'm gonna get the tattoo like the Tanjiro one I hurt like a lot to this day Tanjiro one's like I think the most painful tattoo I think my favorite favorite tattoo it would have to be this this Naruto one it's just like it's, it's so dope it's so dope my least favorite tattoo would have to be the curvy one <laughs> I think just because of the eyes so now we're gonna count them all right so I'm gonna learn this from um toe to head because <laughs> it's gonna be harder. So I have, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 that's 10 more than I thought I had. I'm almost at 40, what the fuck? And I literally mentioned like what, maybe like three, four maybe that I wanted like, or five. No, yeah, I'm going and plus add five that for the future five. Damn, I have a lot of tattoos. <laughs> no, um, but like, that's insane, what the fuck? I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm going to get more though, so. <laughs> but that's crazy. I imagine when I reach my 50 mark and then 100. I'm excited. I can't wait for my hundred tattoo. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. I just wanted to talk about my tattoos. Because <laughs> I've been having this video idea for like quite some time now. Um yeah, I just ever since like I think I saw you know how I told you I wanted to love one? Because I I've always I've always wanted tattoos, man. Like when I was like younger, I was like, I'm gonna get tattoos, but because I had like, you know, the Christopher Drew Ingle guy, like he has a shit of tattoos. Also, um, 
Christina Perry. She has like this like really beautiful, um, also like you know lettering tattoos as well as you know Christopher. He has love is my weapon, and in her I forgot what it says something about love and life, but it's in Italian I think. Oh, she, it just they look so cool, and also Marzia and like um, PewDiePie, like oh, just people that have tattoos like that. Like it's just they're so cool. And I was like ah, I want tattoos like that. So yeah, but you know I'm happy with how you know my body is. I feel like you know ever since I got tattoos, I feel more like myself. Because obviously it's another form of, you know, um, self-expression also, like, I, I think self-love and also, like, you know, it's just how I feel at home with myself, you know? So it's dope. I love this news. But yeah, thanks you guys so much for watching. This, I just, I've always wanted to make this video, you know, so, like, to take you part of my tattoo journey. And, like, you know, so this is where I'm at now. And, like, maybe, like, you know, and maybe in five years I'm going to have, like, a shitload more. Or I might have just, like, you know, two or three more or just the ones I mentioned, you know, so... We'll see, but like for now, this is, this is dope. I have 35 tattoos so far, and I'm 21. Like, this is dope. Like, oh. oh yeah, I dyed my hair too. In case you guys didn't notice, but yeah, I've done like a lot <laughs> this past what month, I think. I didn't notice. I think the last time I posted, like, I was literally supposed to make this video like the week after, like, I did the other. I posted my last video, like, uh, uh, but you know, like a lot of stuff happens, you know, but. I'm happy I posted this now and if you guys want to obviously keep up to date with like you know daily stuff or just like weekly stuff I do post a lot more on TikTok and my Instagram so at Super Mexican Mia and as I mentioned before my, t my sister basically did all these tattoos besides my first tattoo the first tattoo was a silver and salt person and my sister's tattoo is at cherub dot tattoos like cherub period tattoo if you guys want to check her workout or also get tattooed by her she's accepting appointments now for march so you know yeah this is this is open you know los angeles based so is he on my table he's on my table hi joby hi mama hi everyone my name is Toby. Hmm. subscribe and don't forget to like this video like yeah no, i'm kidding <laughs> like it though i bought a piano with my own money like i'm so excited so you know i'm really excited to hopefully like no, not hopefully. I'm, I am going to do covers, you know, and like, I'm going to like show you guys my music and like, you know, the process behind me writing music and like other songs I have had on piano that I've hadn't had a chance to like play or like actually like um finish or like continue working on because I have not had had access to a piano ever since like maybe 2018, 2019 because I had to take out that piano because it was just way out of tune, like the one we had in my in my room. So yeah, this time I bought it with my own money, like my own hard work, like. I like wrote down in my notebook like I'm gonna get this piano and like I saved up the money and like I got it like I got it I got it it's like, like oh, I'm so proud of myself and it's so dope but yeah thank you so much for listening to me thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time bye <laughs> hey guys we're going to Mexican Mia Hey guys, it's Norma Samia with a...